What's up, ladies and gents? Hopefully having a great day. Wanted to jump into another raw first impressions of another new map. This time it's the reworked Cobblestone. And I did play this a little bit around the Halloween season when it was first released, but the, the lighting was far too dark for me. A lot of the character models kind of meshed into the background. This is very odd ambient sound too. So I wanted to see how it looked once the map was brought into the light, once the lighting had been changed around a little bit and altered. And they have made a couple of amendments since that last version too. So I'm going to talk about this as if you guys haven't seen a new cobblestone. Maybe you're taking a break from CS. This is the first time seeing it. Going through all the changes, what I personally think about them, do I think this map's going to be competitively viable? And as ever, guys, I'm always super interested to see what your thoughts are on this map. So comment below, let me know what you think about this new cobblestone. Maybe you think this is going to be seen in the map pool shortly. Maybe there's things that you think need to be worked on. Let me know below what you guys think. But... Let's jump on board. So, you're going to notice the A site is drastically different. It used to be up, well, not this high, but on a platform where this all this concrete looks now. I will say this looks a little bit bare and shit, to be honest, but you're never really going to go up there anyway, so whatever. But this is where the A site used to be. You had the cannons down here next to the stables. That's all been changed. This is now just a big slab of concrete. The site is actually on these coffins and on this wagon instead which means that it's been pushed forward a little bit, which brings a lot more angles into play. So right off the uh, bat, you're going to notice, well, the doors can be a potential spot to peek the site from, or the retake, as it were. Murder hole, also long, directly now can be spotted. Before, if you were on the long side from a team, maybe trying to lock the bomb down, you'd have to come all the way around here, you'd have to poke, and in doing so, you'd leave yourself very vulnerable now, if you plant for the back side of the site, you can actually just pop up here, have a quick peek. You can't be seen necessarily from the uh, balcony. It's hard to see you from stables. This could be a very, very strong post-plant scenario. However, something else has changed here on the A site, ladies and gents, and you'll notice it. Danger no longer exists. This connector way, which would go down into middle before, has been removed, which means that mid and long are now isolated from one another. So yes, this could be a very good angle, but if someone to, were to smoke this off and go for the defuse, well, now you're in trouble. Now this becomes a lot more of a tenuous activity because you can't quickly wrap around into mid and play the mind games with the CTs anymore on the retake. Additionally, let's have a look in mid itself. You're going to notice there's a little window here. You can throw grenades into there. It's obviously super basic flashbang, but you get the point. And because of the lack of danger, because of the lack of this connector way, it is also a lot easier for the CTs to play more aggressively with this window. Maybe throw a flashbang in, into the peak, close off this middle area, and you've got these barrels you can hide behind too, which is going to give you a bit of a shield from the likes of grenades, give you a shield from maybe a flashbang or a molotov. If you play somebody in this mid um, area and one through here, you can flash into a potential peak. So you go for a flash, the player on the barrels can just go for a quick peek, and now it's a, it's a lot easier to, to go for these aggressive plays. On top of that, the other change to long, the rest of it is by and large the same. you still got this kind of like little hay bale. you still got this little boost spot, which I think is going to be a lot more powerful now than it was before. But this is also changed. There used to be a little archway here where this door is, where you could watch long from back here from an orb's perspective. But the other side of that coin is that now peeking from mid towards that angle is going to be a lot easier. Before, you'd have to be worried in case someone was in the arch or on this side. Now, you're sure, someone could be on that side, but they'd be quite vulnerable. Um, it's going to be much easier to come around this corner and check these angles. So, really, the gist of what I'm saying is that I'm, I really do like this rework. I'm glad that they didn't go the same way as they did with Dust 2, where it was effectively just a reskin. It was effectively just, oh, we'll make it look a little bit better, but it's pretty much exactly the same. Here they have made real changes, and the changes that they've implemented on both sites allow the CTs to play more aggressively now. It allows the CTs to take the fight to the terrorists, knock them off balance, knock them off kilter, and now the terrorists are going to constantly have in the back of their mind, okay, the CT's pushing, we have to be a lot more careful when we take mid, when we take long control, because the other side of this on the A side is if you die on long now, with the bomb, for example, there is no quick rotation. You have been put in a horrible spot, so you have to be way more careful on the T side. You can't just throw caution to the wind anymore and play an aggressive, long, 
take, knowing that if you get traded out, well, you can almost just rotate from mid to long or vice versa and keep the CTs in transition. That's no longer going to be the case. So I do really like some of these changes. So this is the A side. Let's have a look at the T spawn. That has also changed drastically. It's been moved forward quite a few meters. Now the T spawn here. Before you'd have spawns up here. I think you could also get spawns around here. Maybe even down below additionally. Um, now you're looking at this spawn. Pushing it forward though does mean you can get down into mid quicker. So I think mid is going to be a, a widely contested area of the map. Uh, with both the CTs. The CT spawn about here. So it's going to be a very similar time to get through to mid from both spawns. I mean, this could be hotly contested, especially with this potential uh, pop flash position and the, the barrels to play behind. So, that's enough of the A side. Let's have a look at the B side of the map. So you'll notice because they've taken away this the old um, angle that you could push through on this little doorway, that's all been cordoned off and locked off now, with the Dragon Law room being the main connector point, um, it, it doesn't really change a huge amount of the game, I'd say. It's it maybe a bit slower, actually, to reach into this part of the map than you were before. So perhaps B-rushes are going to be coming at 5, 10 seconds later. But long is by and large the same. On the Halloween version, they did have some boxes around here where you could kind of boost up on. Um, it gave Sanctuary for players to be a bit more passive in long because right now you really have this angle, which is very easy to Molotov or Grenade out. And then back here on the boost spot where some warpers may go up. But before, you had this like little box area here. And I'm, I'm actually glad they took that out. I think it was too much of a clusterfuck on long. And it, it just offered um, too, too much shenanigans. I, I think that having the boxes out actually is overall just a better look for the map. And I think long's fine as it is. Because the main reason how this has been altered significantly to actually give the CTs more more avenues of aggression is that no longer do you have to double boost. No longer do you need two players to boost up into drop zone. You can now do it all yourself, as I'll show you right here. It's very, very simple to do. Only takes a second and a half or so. And this means it's way less dangerous. It's way more risky. Uh, sorry, way less risky, I should say, than it used to be to go for a double boost. Before, if you went in for a double boost and a couple of grenades went out, like a couple of flashes and HEs, these two players would be absolutely wrecked. Plus, it meant that you couldn't go for any spur-of-the-moment boosts into drop zone. You had to be very, very on board with one another. You had to be very tuned in to go for that double boost late on. Now a player, if they just decide, okay, now's the right time. Maybe they've heard loads of footsteps on long. The B rush, long rush has been called. I'll just boost up behind them and try and get into play behind them. That is going to be in the back of the T's mind. I think now the terrorists are going to have to keep a player around here for the foreseeable future. Because that boost is so, so easy to do. On top of that, You'll notice they've changed the roof slightly and they've put this beam here. Now, what you'll notice if you can still land grenades behind it, it's going to be a, an issue. But if you throw it too shallow, some of these grenades will bounce off actually onto the beam and back up again. So you can end up flashing yourself. So you're going to have to be more careful when you come through here than before. It's not quite as detrimental or powerful as it used to be. So... It's going to be one of those situations where I think the CTs can get a lot more of a stranglehold of drop zone, which therefore crushes the ability for the Ts to play as confidently and as, as aggressively as before on the B side. It means the CTs don't have to sit back and just soak up all this pressure and have to throw all their grenades in as a countermeasure. And with like 30, 35 seconds left, they have nothing to spare because they've depleted all of their utility. Um, I think it just offers a lot more. There is one angle that's been taken out that used to be here, which is quite a cheeky one. I used to like playing it. So this used to be a bit deeper. This archway used to be far more deep back. And so you could actually sit in here. And if you played passively and just stared at the wall and no one checked, you could stop a bomb plant from going down. I've actually won a few rounds off the back of that. Now they've pushed it more forward. You can't do it anymore. This is as far into the side as you can get. And as you can see, uh, well, unless you're playing against some absolute dribblers, they're going to be having no problem spotting you at this point. So, yeah, it's, it, you can't use that spot anymore. Chicken coop is the same, the tree is still the same, the statue is by and large the same, the rock is the same, and the connect is the same. But the rest is pretty altered, it's pretty different. And overall, I like it. I like the changes to the aggression that the CTs can now show. I think it's going to put the T's on the back foot a little bit more. 
I think it's a much more balanced map. Obviously, I haven't seen the pros play this yet. I haven't really played it much in matchmaking myself, but off a raw first impressions, I like it. It's a thumbs up from me. What do you guys think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Any parts of the map in particular that you think still need working on? Or maybe on the other side, any parts of the map you think are absolutely perfect the way they are and you think they should stay as, as, as it is? I'd be very curious to read your guys' thoughts. See you in the next video, guys. Peace.